Hey guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella. Today is an episode, so it's episode 149. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Always mess up my numbers. But today I got some finished objects to share with you guys. And only one whip. I'm currently only down to one whip. <laughs> uh, period. Like, at all going on. So it's pretty cool. I finished up my secret Halloween project today. Literally, just like a few minutes ago. <laughs> I was doing it. Um... It required some sewing that I had to do, and it's done. It's right there on my couch. <laughs> but I can't share that with you guys until after my swap partner gets it in October. So it's going to be a while. I took a picture of it. So, um, yeah. Anyways, let's get into it. <laughs> so I got uh, four finished objects and one whip to show you guys. So I'll just hop in here. This one you've already seen if you watch my um, National holiday videos. I cannot remember if I showed this last episode. I think I did. I'm pretty sure I did, but I'm going to say it again. <laughs> I can't remember if I showed this, but this uh, snowman tissue cover. I can't remember if I showed it last episode or not, but oh well. It's a refresher if it is. <laughs> I had it in my pile, but I might have just forgot to put it up. I'm actually going to enter this into my fair. I didn't think my fair was doing um, crafts, but I looked at their website again the other day, and they did update finally that they are going to do crafts. So I'm going to take some things, I only got like eight things I think, to take with me to enter into my county fair Saturday. Enter it then, they judge it later that day, but we won't be going back to the fair until Tuesday. So I have to wait until Tuesday to see if I want anything. But anyways, so snowman tissue cover, pretty sure I showed it, I can't remember now. But it is a free pattern by Nikki's Homemade Crafts, I'll link it below. Everything I talk about will be linked below if I can find it. So I just made it out of Red Heart Super Silver White, Black, and Pumpkin. And, um, yeah, he has all this little stuff right there. But he has a tissue cover. You just put him over a box of tissues, the little square boxes. And, uh, I gotta find mine. Jesse took off with it. Oh, it's over there. Because <laughs> I'm gonna take it in the, to the fair with the tissues in it so that they know what it is. Uh, but yeah, so there's that. I'm pretty sure I already showed that now that I'm talking about it again. <laughs> but, well. Alright, okay, so my next finished object is my Moving Stitch M Square. I'm trying to get caught up on that. I'm still behind, pretty much. But, um... Anyways, here's M. So this one was based off of Mary Poppins, off of Bert's suit when they go into the chalk drawing on the concrete floor, <laughs> sidewalk. But uh, yeah, so the pattern, the square pattern is what I've been using the whole movie stitch time. It's called the Simple Says It Best Square, and it's by the Perfect Knot. And then the little bow is called the Easiest Little Bow by Sweet Softies. <laughs> and the yarn was just scrap balls. Again, it was white, cherry red carrot and pumpkin and I can't remember this blue is but it is red heart scrap but yeah so that was my M square so I could put it over here now down there with all my other moving stitch squares to wait until I make it into a blanket eventually <laughs> but that was a pretty easy make I need to make uh in movie next but yeah so my next finished object let's see here we'll do this little hat this little hat I had this pattern saved forever in my files on my computer and when i looked it up to try to find it to link it for you guys i could not find it it was a red heart free pattern and then i guess when they got bought out by your inspirations they just didn't put it back on their inspirations website because i could not find it on there but it's a little newborn hat <laughs> it's a little like beanie very simple i think it was uh it's double crochet and then you do a front post back post double crochet border so that you can make a brim I made this for my baby, <laughs> um, but I kind of feel like it's going to be too small because my eyes are itching. I have allergies <laughs> because um, Jesse's head when he was born was huge. Devin has a huge head. His dad has a huge head. It's a Robert's thing. They all have big heads, <laughs> but um, I just don't think his head was ever this small. So I'm going to save it, but I really think I'm going to have to go up a uh, hook size or something because <laughs> I'm pretty sure she's going to have a big head, but I could take it also and then make another one slightly bigger because when i took when i had jesse at the hospital i took three or four little hats and stuff to uh, take pictures of him in and um he was born in may though but june is going to be born in um february late january early february so um i'm thinking late uh, january with my history <laughs> i think i'm gonna have to go early but um anyways i'm afraid her head's gonna be huge just like jesse's was so i think don't think this is gonna cut it like are people's babies heads really this small because Jesse's was not this small. <laughs> Jesse had a big old head. But I still got to weave in the ends. I haven't done that yet. So it's not 100% done. But it's getting there. <laughs> but anyways, I made this with Dollar Tree yarn. I have the... Here's an unopened one. I got the rest of it somewhere. 
apparently on my cart, but it is just the uh, Premier Just Yarn. I think it's called Dusty. No, it's light pink. Just a pretty light pink color. And I just was sitting around one day and I wanted to make something little and I thought I'd make a baby hat, but I feel like this is going to be way too small. <laughs> I don't know though. We'll see. I'll weave in the ends and save it and see what happens. I just feel like it's going to be super small because my kids heads have, or my, my kids have big heads <laughs> so far. And <laughs> Jesse had a huge head and, uh, yeah. And it's, like I said, it's like a, it's a Roberts thing. They all have big heads. <laughs> Anyways, there's a hat and I could not find the pattern, so it won't be linked below, but it was a super basic, um, hat i was looking all over their your inspirations website and could not find it so i guess they just didn't cross it over when they bought out red heart all right my last finished object is my halloween bag that i've been making for myself the all the crochet parts are done i do need to still make the liner which i'm planning on doing probably sunday because i'll be able to uh, sit down and record me making it so i can show you guys how i'm gonna do it i've never lined a crocheted bag before I have a line to crochet blanket, so I'm, I'm guessing it's going to be similar to that, so I don't know. We'll see. But here's my Halloween bag. This is a paid-for pattern, and it's called a Halloween Sampler Bag by Snappy Tots. It'll be linked below. So I did attach the handle, and then there's the bag. That's the front of it. I couldn't decide if I want to make that jack o or not. My bat looks funny because the bag's kind of bent. <laughs> Let me see if I can flatten his face out so he doesn't look so doofy. There's the bat. <laughs> I accidentally sold his eyes way too close together. And then the other side, got spiders, jack-o'-lantern, and uh, Brad Frankenstein. So I did just, I just sewed the handles up here on the hair part with uh, black yarn so that it would look better here, you know. And I got my fabric already. I bought two fat quarters of a dark green color to do the liner for the bag. And I'm going to machine sew it instead of hand sewing, but you can do it with hand sew. I'm just going to use a machine because I have one. <laughs> but I'm just going to... I don't know how I'm going to attach the bag to this because this right here is really thick. It's three layers of worsted weight crochet. And then the fabric. I could probably stitch it very slowly with my machine. I could put like a, a jean uh, needle in there so it'll go through thickness and just take my time. Uh, I'm gonna try. I don't know. I don't know. We'll figure that out someday when I get around to it. But yeah, so my bag is pretty much done. I just want to line it so the stuff doesn't poke through it. And I think it'll be cute. Well, I'll figure it out for sure <laughs> eventually. But most of these yarns are all Red Heart colors. I'm pretty sure all these yarns are. Because I know it's, um, the handle is black and light tea leaf, I think. Black, spring green. This is an all of a yarn gray. I can't remember what it's called. Uh, Red Heart, Pumpkin, Amethyst, Spring Green, Wild Black, Bright Yellow, Amethyst, Spring Green. It's pretty much all the same colors. This is a Red Heart, Yellow, a Light Purple. I can't remember what it's called. Yeah, it's pretty much all Red Heart except the gray <laughs> is all of this yarn. Something. <laughs> One of the all of this yarns colors. <laughs> but yeah, so I love this bag. I can't wait to use it. And I actually dug out Jesse's bag that I made him last year. Was that last year? That he did not want to use. I need to line it too. And it's just a cute little, you know, just a little candy bag. I wanted to share it with you guys. This, this was in um, last year's Annie Spooktacular magazine. I'm trying to remember if it was last year. I'm pretty sure it was 2020. I can't remember though. I think it was. <laughs> but again, this is pretty much all Red Heart yarn also. Spring green, amethyst, black, white. It's all of them. This was really fun to make and cute to make too. The pattern with it and in the magazine, it came with the this little Frankenstein one and I think a cat one. Um, I got my magazine. It's over on my book or my bookshelf, but I absolutely love that magazine. I gotta get the newer one that just came out <laughs> recently. But yeah, so that's all my finished objects. I feel like I kind of rushed rushed through them, but there wasn't really much to show that I haven't already shown you guys one way or another. Now my only active whip right now is my Christmas blanket from Maria's Blue Crown. It is a free slash paid for pattern. You can buy the PDF of all of it together, or you can go to her website and get it in pieces because um, it was a crochet along originally. That's the way I'm doing it so that it's not so stressful. <laughs> so I just, I'm, I haven't even started week two yet. <laughs> I was going to yesterday, but I ended up not feeling too good and I haven't been feeling too good today. But I did get all the first week done, which is, I got my red squares. I got four red squares over there on my cart. <laughs> Four of the uh, like linen color squares and then four of the Santa Clauses. I just showed these to you in Watch Work on Wednesday yesterday. But 
So it's these are done, but it's technically a whip because it's part of a blanket. So I guess that's kind of like the moving stitch squares too, though. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so I want to start on the second part of that. I want to try to work on that more because I'd like to get it done before Christmas. But oh well, if it doesn't, it doesn't. That's not the end of the world. But yes, yeah, so that's all I've been working on crochet wise. I uh, had to pull up my sewing machine because I had to do some sewing for a project I was making for my uh, Halloween swap partner. And I got a whole bunch of fabric in there that I need to start cutting for bags. I don't know when. I'm not even going to say when because I have no idea. Um, I got a lot of happy mail that I want to share with you guys. I might do that tomorrow. I got a bunch of uh, baby gifts from my Amazon registry. registry. <laughs> and I also got some a Yarny gift swap that I did with someone. And I got some fabric from two people. And I think that's about it. <laughs> but um, I got a lot of stuff that's just been piling up. And I haven't had the time to show it. So I need to make a video and show it. <laughs> but uh, most of the people that gifted me stuff, I have talked through through messages and stuff. So they know that I got it. But anyways, yeah. So I got to get ready in a little bit to go get Jesse from school. It is one something, I think. So it's getting close to time. <laughs> and I got to go by and get some gas, too. I might leave early so I can get gas and then go get him. Because I'll be in the car pickup line forever. Uh, might take some crochet with me, but it's in the 90s today. So it's going to be hot in that car pickup line. <laughs> I don't know if I want to sit there and crochet when it's so hot. But uh, yeah, so right here is my big old bag of stuff I'm going to take to the fair with me. My notes. Usually I take a ton of things, but this year because I didn't know they were doing it, I just got a bag. It's a big bag. Oh. So I, I'll just show them to you real quick. I don't remember any of these patterns. I will make a proper video <laughs> after the fair showing you these with all the pattern links below because I can't remember them all off the top of my head. Um, but I will share all the patterns in the post fair video. <laughs> but uh, like one is like one category is crochet sweater. So I'm gonna enter a sweater that I made last year. This is the one by Sorella. I can't remember what it's called. But it's just a simple gold color sweater that I love. <laughs> I'm going to enter that into the crochet category uh, for sweaters. And then they, they don't have a shawl category this year, but they do have a other crochet article category. So I'm going to enter this uh, shawl that I made last year. I don't know if y'all remember this, but I think it's such a pretty shawl. It's made out of boysenberry yarn. I think it was Red Heart with Love. I love this shawl. But I'm going to enter that into the other crochet article category. <laughs> and then the tissue cover is going to be entered into I forgot what category but it's gonna be entered in there <laughs> I have it written down on my computer I can't remember and then I'm gonna my strawberry beret that I made I'm gonna enter into a crochet hat hopefully they know it's a beret <laughs> hopefully they will and then there are two uh, toy categories one is for dolls and one is for just toy so and they're not picky at all at my fair they're super lenient so in one of them, probably the doll one, I'm going to enter my little clown that I made. <laughs> and then in the other one, the toy one, I'm going to enter the bird that I made. All these pretty much were made last year, but our fair lets you count last year and this year. Since Normally it's um, from the, last, the, the end of the last fair to the beginning of the current fair. But because of COVID, I think they're letting us stretch a little bit further. Let's see here. All right, and the last two, I think, are just blankets. So I'm going to enter this pretty baby blanket I made for my baby uh, into the baby blanket category because <laughs> it's a baby blanket. And then in the regular Afghan category, I'm going to enter this pink and gray six-day kid blanket that I made and just the regular afghan because it's big it's a lot larger i had a hard time deciding if i wanted to enter this or the halloween blanket i made last year the one with pumpkin faces on it and i was i was just looking between you know which one i wanted to enter so i think i'm just going to enter this pink one because i like it a lot more the stitch work on it and um yeah oh there's still stitch marker on here as a progress keeper i'm glad i found that i'm gonna look them over before i go saturday probably tomorrow i'll look them over make sure there's no ends sticking out anywhere and um, we'll get them all ready for the fair. What I like to do before I go to my county fair is uh, our county fair has a website. And on that website, they have a PDF with all the lot numbers and stuff for all the categories you might want to enter. So what I do is I get a piece of paper or use my computer and then print it out. Oops, sorry. <laughs> and I write down all the lots that I want to enter and what category they are, whether they're sewing, crafts, 
or um, needlework. Those are the three main, no, only the categories that, that my stuff falls into. Uh, and then I write down the category name, like crafts, the lot number, like lot 52, and then the item. Like I'll say lot 52 doll, and then I'll write down clown doll, <laughs> so that I know when I get to the fair, and I get my little stickers that they print off when you're at the door <laughs> to mark your items. Um, I go around to the booths and then I can whip up that piece of paper <laughs> and I can immediately tell them I want to enter this item into lot number 52, which is doll. And then they, they can look it up and do the tagging and all that because they, they have a system. <laughs> and that way we're not sitting there reading through their book because a lot of people, pretty much I'm the only one I've ever seen do the list thing, are sitting there forever looking through all the lots trying to figure out what categories they want to enter. But me, I come prepared. <laughs> so I already had it all figured out and I get compliments about that every year that I enter in the fair for making it so easy for them. And I'm like, well, that's just how I am. You know, my brain is, I'm the kind of person who always writes down stuff. So I'm gonna do that again. I already did it. I got it on my computer. I just need to print it out or copy it. I need to keep him out so I can get his tissues. Oh, and I'm also gonna enter one of my totes. And they, this is the only tote I have. <laughs> this is the one that I kept. It's a shiny one. And uh, this will be the first time I ever entered anything that I've sewn. So I probably won't win because usually um, in my area, I'm one of the only, like, I'm not the only person who own, enters crochet stuff, but there's only like four or five people who enter a lot of crochet things. Like in the hat category, there'll be like four or five hats laying there. But in the sewing categories, there's tons of stuff. There's a lot of women around here who sew and men probably. So I probably won't win, but I'm going to still do it. <laughs> I was thinking about entering my crochet tote because it still counts, but I wanted to enter something that I sewed just because I've never done that before. And it'll be cool to get a... a uh, ribbon even if it's the second place which in my fair is the last place <laughs> they only do second first and best of show so but still I'm gonna be excited I love this shawl this is such a pretty pattern it's made with triple crochets it took forever to make but it was awesome <laughs> my, my uh, what is it called sweater it's gonna be a lot of fun next year I want to enter more things see normally I make stuff all year for the fair but this year, they were so on the fence about having the fair because last year and COVID and all that crap. And uh, I messaged them way, like months ago, asking if they're going to do the crafts things. And they never got back to me. And then they never put it on the website. So they had, like, the animals, um, the beef and pork and sheep shows and all that stuff. And um, But they never updated the craft stuff. So I didn't think they were doing it this year. And then I just happened to log in, like, four days ago <laughs> to see if maybe they changed their minds. And they did. So... This is just stuff that I've made between last year and now that I can enter. Um, I thought about trying to make up some stuff this week, but <laughs> I'm just too tired. Um, I haven't heard of crochet at all this week. I worked a little bit on my Santa squares and on my mystery Halloween thing. And uh, that's about it. So, yeah, next year hopefully. Well, I don't know. I'll have a baby next year. <laughs> but I crocheted a ton when Jesse was a baby. I made a lot of stuff. That's when I first got back into crocheting big time is when Jesse was, when I was pregnant with him and when I had him. Um... But, yeah, Jesse was like the perfect baby, though. He never cried or anything. He just, you know, when he was little and couldn't do anything, he just sat there and looked around or slept. And then when he got older, he was always, he could always entertain himself with little toys and things. So, I'm a little worried that maybe the next baby is going to be a lot harder because he was so easy. Like, everything that I've always heard my whole life, parents complaining about their newborns, Jesse didn't do. The only thing he did bad was he didn't sleep good. But I think it's because he had acid reflux because that runs in my family bad. And it took us for a while to find a formula that he could eat without um, spitting it up really bad. So, yeah, he ended up having to be soy, which is fine. But, uh, I don't know. I just feel like maybe the next baby is going to be a lot harder. But that's okay. I'll deal with it. Anyways, total soundtrack. <laughs> Showed you my finished objects and my one whip and a bunch of fair stuff and talked a lot. <laughs> but it wouldn't be me if I wasn't talking a lot. So, for all the people who stayed during my whole fair stuff, uh, thank you. <laughs> I'm going to hop off here and get this edited real quick and uploaded so that it can probably upload while I'm going to get gas and stuff. Because I don't even know what time it is. I can't see the clock from where I'm sitting. But it's getting close to school pickup line time. <laughs> so, I'm going to hop off here and I'll see you guys in another video. Bye, guys.